Hello and welcome to Quilt Addicts Anonymous. My adorable special guest is Bentley. This is Jean who works for us. She folds a lot of the fat quarters for you guys for Sash with Stephanie and Bundle bundles and sometimes Bentley comes to work. He, uh, he's got some seniority here at Quilt Addicts Anonymous. He has his own food bowl and a water bowl and also his own special rug. So that way he's nice and comfy when he comes with his mama to work. Don't worry, he's hypoallergenic and doesn't shed. So we're not gonna get any dog hair on the fabric. But I've got Bentley with me today because he got to come to work with mama and all of our new arrivals this week have dog and cats on them. So Bentley is being much better than Jelly Roll when I had her give a little cameo. He is definitely actually a lap dog as opposed to Jelly Roll who just thinks she is but is actually 62 pounds of massive awkward basset hound. And so I'm gonna let him go back to his mama and we're gonna take a look at this wonderful fabric that I know all you dog and cat lovers are just gonna love because all of our dog and cat lovers here at the shop have thought it's absolutely adorable. So since Bentley was our special guest, we're gonna start with pause and reflect. Pause, P-A-W-S, it's, it's cute. Nice little play on words there. They all have little plays on words actually for the names of these collections. But pause and reflect from Dear Stella. This fabric is really lovely to work with. It works great for quilts, but it also is printed on kind of a shirting fabric. So this also makes really great little garments as well as pillowcases. So this is wonderful to have just as a fat quarter bundle and it's a really small line. So it's really reasonably priced. Um, we also have half yard and yard bundles available for all of these and they're rather small collections, but I could see any of these being pillowcases for the dog and cat lovers in your life if you're looking for some holiday gifts. Um, this would also make really cute little dresses for little girls. Um, if you need to know how to do some sewing for garments, we are in the middle of an intro to garment sewing series. It's being taught by our very own Stephanie Brennan, who actually went to fashion design school. So you can, the possibilities are really limitless with this and it really is a fun collection. Um, this one is just adorable. So we typically don't buy dog prints here because like when you're a dog person, you're breed specific. Like I've had Cocker Spaniels my whole life and my husband had Basset Hounds growing up. So those are the two dogs that we typically have. Um, even when we were fostering dogs, we would end up with those breeds most of the time. Um, but this one has like a lot of different breeds on here. We have some that look like mutts, we have some Scotties, we have some Dalmatians, some Dash Hounds. They're really cute and you really can find the love in all of these and this blue colorway is really very sweet. So for this one, it's the same dogs that we saw in the last one, but they're on a smaller scale and they're kind of in, you don't want to say tossing dogs around, but the dogs are tossed in different directions in terms of what orientation they are, which is great because it means it's not directional. Now we can't have a dog line without some dog bones. This is more of kind of a medium to darker blue with little tan dog bones floating around. Again, they're all going in different directions, so it's not directional. This is the same print that we saw earlier in light blue, but I feel like the dogs are popping even more on this one with that darker blue. And of course we have some paw prints. It's on that darker, deeper blue. And inside the paw prints are the same floral that we saw in that first one. So I love it when a collection really ties it together well. We have one final print in this collection. It's super sweet. It's dogs in a flower meadow. It's so adorable. It's got a nice light background. So it complements really well with the lighter blues. And they're just sitting there being good boys and good girls, just smelling the flowers. And it's just so sweet. I love this collection. So it's a really small line. You could use this to do a beginner quilt kit if you just got uh, some background to coordinate with that. Or you could just make some pillowcases or just get some things for some little girl dresses. There's lots of options with this and it's really price friendly because it's not a huge collection so you can afford to get the whole thing. Next up, we have Cat Call, also from Dear Stella. This one has some really fun, bright, funky colors. And the cat owners here at Quilt Addicts Anonymous that are working on folding this were like, oh, this is so adorable. So I think you guys are gonna like it too if you have some furry felines in your life. So this first one is really fun. It's on a black background. So the cats and the bright colors really pop. There's some yellow, some orange, some pink. It's really a great combination of 
um, colors here. And the cats have all different types of expressions from like, oh my gosh, to happy, to giving snuggle kisses, to totally indifferent because we know that cats occasionally just don't care and they're just in their own little world there. So it is really cute and really adorable. So this is where the pun cat call comes from. We all know that we love to take pictures of our furry friends on our phones and that's what most of them are. And so it's all these screenshots of cats, you know, photo bombing you from behind, maybe some shattered cell phones because they just knocked it right off because they felt like it. Um, some fish bones, you know, all kinds of fun things with your furry felines. And around it, we have the same paws and the faces that we saw before. And the colors are just really bright and fun. So this is one of Dear Stella's basics. The print is called Jax. It looks like little Jax that you would throw on the ground when you're playing the old fashioned game. And it coordinates perfectly with the pink in here. So if you're planning to do like a quilt or if you are working on, um, you know, doing some pillowcases, this would make a great flange for it. So depending on how you want it to look, uh, whether it's pink or looking at the teal, that is a good option for you. Here's a Jax print again, this time in more of a seafoam green. And again, it matches really well with the blues that are in the collection. And we're gonna wrap it up with cats sitting on your computers and tablets. We know they love to do this. I actually read somewhere that it's because they're mimicking you, they wanna do what you're doing. So um, when we set up one of our employees with a remote office, I also sent her a kitty-sized MacBook Pro. Obviously it wasn't like a real one, but it was basically a miniature version of hers that she uses. And so her cat could also look at it while she was working. It's super adorable. All right, we are gonna wrap it up with not a meow, also from Dear Stella. They have expanded this collection this year because it was so popular last year. So we have new prints of cats being super annoyed that they've been dressed up for Christmas. All right, so as the name suggests, every single cat in here is not so excited about what it's got going on. There are cats in sweaters. There are cats with mistletoe over them. Like, mm, no thank you. Um, they are chasing little elves around and pixies. It really is cute and fun um, getting into presents, just having a good old time being not amused by the entire holiday season. This one is a Christmas tree slash cat garland. So we can see we have all the garland running through. There's little peppermints and tree ornaments and little cats with Santa hats. This is the same print we started with, but it is a green background for it. So it is even more holiday themed. It is super cute. This would make a great pillow body because it's just so big of a print. I feel like this garland one would make a good sleeve because it would just offset really well with the two prints. It would look really cute together. And of course we have some plaids. This one is a nice green plaid and don't expect it to like, you know, print straight. It definitely won't. Um, but this would make a really good pillow flange for sure. Um, as well as some bias binding, it would look absolutely great as that as well. This is the print that started it all, the original Not A Meows, where there are cats with various head accoutrements and they're all very unhappy. They do not want to be reindeers, presents, Santa, Christmas trees, or wreaths, but they're super fun. It's super cute. Again, great for pillowcases. This would also be good for the double oven mitt. Um, we had some beginner quilt kits out of this last year. It is just a really fun collection. It's super cute, and I'm so glad that they took this print and expanded on it because it's just so fun. And we're gonna wrap it up with our red gold plaid. There's a little bit of green in there as well, but it's super fun, super cute. Again, I think this would make a great pillow flange, bias binding. Really, the collection is super fun. It's gonna be great for your cat loving friends or for you, and it's perfect for making little gifts for them that they'll appreciate this holiday season. And the collection is super small too, so you really can afford to get the whole thing, maybe get the whole thing on half yards or yards so you can do something bigger with it, but it also works really great in small things as well. I hope you have enjoyed this week's new products and thank you to our special guest, Bentley, 
for helping to show off all of our new dog and cat arrivals. If you have a furry friend in your life or if you know someone who loves one, these would make great holiday gifts. You can make up something small for them. And the bundles are so small. It's no more than six in um, a collection. So they're all gonna be under $25 for a fat quarter bundle. So really great to have a budget friendly gift that you can make up real quick out of one of these collections. Also make sure you check out our free pattern for the front seam pillowcase. That would be great too with any of the yardage from this. You could make something up from those. And there's just so many options that you can make from these. Um, something just cute, sweet, and cozy. All right, until next time, happy quilting. Thank you.